the only way to start any day, of course, is with a cup of tea. Cheers. And let's have a look outside the window. Let's see what's happening in Portugal. Here we go. Let's see what's out here. Beautiful sunny day. It's a national holiday today in Portugal. And it's a strange festival going to be happening in Lisbon. We've heard that it is going to be the Sardine Festival, which happens once a year. And it celebrates the most popular fish for eating in Portugal, which of course is the sardine. And okay, going to go for a walk and find some breakfast. 12 hours sleep. Absolutely starving now. I know we're in Portugal and I know we should be eating traditional Portuguese food however my Google search this morning told me there's a place that does a full English breakfast and to be honest I can't resist a full English so one thing we're already learning about Lisbon you just walk around the streets and you'll see all kinds of neat architecture and buildings look at this one behind me Apparently it was uh, destroyed in the earthquake of the 1700s. It used to be the entrance to a big uh, cathedral. The cathedral's destroyed and that's what's left. So this is the place. And there it is, a full English breakfast, 16 euros. That's the one I'm going to try. So I just ordered the breakfast, and full English. And here we go with the first, uh, my drinks have arrived. Pot of tea, huge pot of tea. Milk, hot milk. And a beer. Okay, breakfast arrived. Let's have a look. Okay, we got sausage, mushrooms, beans, bacon, eggs, and tomatoes. Sixteen euros total. That was a good deal. Well, that was absolutely delicious. What a beautiful breakfast. Twenty-eight degrees Celsius outside right now. Just beautiful. Let's go and explore. See what we can do. So one way to get around Lisbon is in one of these tuk-tuks. They remind me of uh, our travels in Bangkok and Asia. Yeah, you, there's, they run around all the time. Just stop one, jump on, agree a price. And away you go. It's easy to kind of get lost in Lisbon, in the back roads. There's stairways everywhere, little back alleys. I'm trying to find the way back to the hotel. The rear entrance, I think. Well, I know it's left or right. I think we go this way. No, this way. <laughs> anyway, we'll soon see. Hey, Rhonda. Hello. So, we're going to try and find Castello de Saint Georges. Gonna go explore a castle. And Here's one of one of the many walking tours coming up. Lots of these in uh, Portugal, especially around the area near our hotel. And here's the castle entrance. I'm just gonna bob in here and buy a couple of tickets. 
And away we go. Castle tour. Buy a ticket, eight euros each. That's pretty good. We're at the castle. Hello. Hey. Hey, YouTube? No, Instagram? <laughs> Beautiful part of uh, Old Town here. So I got a ticket to surrender. We're gonna head up to the you castle. So we've got to head over and see the view. That's the first thing that's calling us. Look at the neat crap uh, wagon there, you made like a tram. That's cool, isn't it? It's good coffee and then ice cream. Looks like there's a good view over here, Rhonda. Well, that was a crazy taxi ride up here. That guy must have been doing 50 kilometers an hour through the streets. We almost ran down about 10 pedestrians. Anyway, we're here. It's uh, beautiful up here at the castle. I'll show you the views in a second, but definitely worth the journey. And this is the view from the top of the castle down onto Old Town Lisbon. Let's have a look over the edge, Rhonda, see what it's like. Hold on. Not too scary. And here's a view from the other side of the castle, looking over the terracotta roofs of Old Lisbon, across to the ocean front way more industrialized especially on the far shore over there yeah, there's even a resident peacock up here begging away obviously used to tourists begging for pieces of codfish cake no doubt it's hot and we're thirsty and we need to hydrate I think over here should be able to get something to drink. And she's even got her own money. Oh. What are you buying? Just two beer, two small beer. They sell beer up here? They sell beer and wine. Oh my goodness. Beer for breakfast. It's draft beer. Beer at the castle. Oh, it is. It's draft beer up here. Sagres small, 250. That's all right. Say so we're in a one of the prime, prime, prime tourist spots. Oh! Ooh, cruise ship! A cruise ship. Yep, it was a cruise ship. Just leaving Lisbon. Hey, Rhonda, that seat you're on is probably a thousand years old. So, this is going to be a quick spot the difference video because. Rhonda and I are doing something different. Anyway, this is number one. Hi, Rhonda. Okay, and wait for number two. And here's video number two. Put in the comments below, what's the difference? Hi, Rhonda, again. Hi, don't forget to comment below. Well, I recognize that uniform. Is it uniform? The suit of armor and the shield. That is definitely one of the Knights Templars. And if anyone watching is familiar with the History Channel series, The Mystery of Oak Island, the legend is that the Knights Templar, this guy and his buddies, transferred treasure from Portugal to Oak Island in Nova Scotia, Canada. And if you're gonna be careful where you walk in here, the, the ground is really uneven. So many people tripping. There's a really old cathedral church type building over there. That could be worth an explore. Here's an old cannon. Look at the old wooden wheels on this thing. And I think it's green like that, so that would be a bronze cannon. That's the way it corrodes and ages I was correct it is bronze and 1622 that cannon was built 
Oh, we get to go in there. And there's cannons everywhere laid on the ground, scattered around. That would be okay if I could read Portuguese. Here's the old rainwater collection system for the castle. Very neat, that's technologically advanced for the 1600s, I think. This is a modern bit, this is the store that they've built to buy souvenirs. Rhonda, there's naked ladies through here. <laughs> Who's that hiding behind the tree? This castle is so well preserved. Now we'll head over the bridge next, into this older part, the central part of the castle. Oh, we get to go up there, look, I can see people. I can't resist stairs in a castle. Up we go. There's the old archer's slits for the bows and arrows. Let's have a look. Who's coming across the bridge? Take a walk, because I intend to explore every inch of this castle. I get my money's worth. No, not my money's worth. I'm interested in the castle. I'll go back down the stairs and back this way. The steps are a little bit trickier coming down. They're so old and smoothly worn. Through the big doors. It's very much in one piece in here. The walls anyway, not obviously not the interior rooms. They've gone a long time ago. I think we need to go higher on the higher up there. And here's the next stairs. These are big ones. Okay, let's go. This is the morning's exercise. That full English, full English breakfast calories are all gone. And then to the very, very top. Now we're at the very, very top. On top of this turret is a well. Or a way to the dungeon or something. It goes all the way down. These stairs are so steep. A little building here. Let's head in here. Oh, it's full. And a walk along the battlements. It's a little bit high, right, Rhonda? Way too high for me. It's making me sick to my stomach. A couple of little signal cannons. And you can even buy an ice cream at the castle. You need one today. And we're back at the main courtyard entrance. That was a really good castle to tour around. Castello de San Jorge in Lisbon. Eight euros each to tour that. I think that is a very reasonable price to visit such a beautiful castle. I'm going to head down the old streets and I'll walk down the hill back towards the main square. You can definitely tell it's a national holiday today. So many people around. On the outside of the castle now. That's half of the fun of walking around is just looking at the old buildings here. They're so 
different to anything you see anywhere else. I'm from England, there's a lot of history in England, there's a lot of historical buildings, but they're just different, right? So that was well worth the uh, trip up there, Rhonda, even though you were yeah. a little bit scared. The heights were scaring me. I had like a bug in my tummy. I was yeah. so scared. But what a great castle. That was awesome. Was now we're going to walk down through the old, old streets and check those out on the way back down towards our hotel.